Hello Keyshawn, how are you? All is great over here. So let's do a review of the lesson that we had. And start off with holding the pick. Now when we hold the pick, we make sort of a curved C shape with our finger. Place the pick on the outside of the first finger. Close it with our thumb. So, kind of looks like so. And on the flip side, like so. Try not to use too much pick. So practice that at home. Put your, place your pick down, pick it back up, put it into your hand, close it with your first finger, off you go. Great. So practice that as much as you can to get really comfortable with holding the pick. Two is going to be the chromatic scale. The chromatic scale we're going to play on the fifth fret, and we're going to do all of the strings, all the way down and up. So um, one thing that we picked up on uh, during the lesson was is it's all right to put some force on that pick hand, and definitely spend a lot of time using your fingertips. You Got to use your fingertips and arch those fingers when you do this. Okay, here we go, nice and slow. your fingers put some force behind that pick make sure those fingertips are in use on the strings great repeat that pattern if notes don't come out try to press down harder on the tips of your fingers Nice and hard with that pick too. Give it some good force. Now, number three review are the two chords that we did. A major. Now, A major, we bar the first finger across the second fret of the guitar. So that goes over your D string, G string, B, and high E as well, even though we don't play the high E. So play every string except the lowest one when you play the A. Is it close up? And also apply some good force on this. Remove your hand, give it a quick shake, release any tension, back you go. Raise your hand, repeat, give it a good hit too. The second chord was E major. In e major, you have the open E string, your second finger is on the second fret of A, third finger is tucked underneath that one in D on the second fret, and your first finger is on the first fret of the G. Here's an extreme close-up for you. And also, like the A, give it some good force when you strum down. If some notes aren't coming out, try to correct your hand, give it a good shake, release some tension, do it again. Excellent. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to email or call me and uh, have lots of fun practicing. You're on your way to becoming a great guitar player, so congratulations.